Hey everybody, welcome back to Disturbing Creations Auto. I'm Damien, your host, and today I got a quick one for you. Have you ever been doing your brakes and for some reason when you're trying to reset your calipers, you're coming up with a hiccup, you can't push them in, or maybe they're a little different? Well, I'm going to show you three different ways in this one video in just about eight minutes where you can do any brakes that you want. Now, I find a lot of the front brakes that I've worked on in older cars are just straight push-in, and you can use the C-clamp to do that. Don't worry. If you don't know what a C-clamp is, that's the first tool we're going to go over. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. And that's just a straight push. You're just going to lock the tool on and then twist it and push the piston back in. Now, I had a lot of Ford Mustangs growing up. Now, with the SN95s, which I think was about 94 and up, the rear brakes got a little different. So, you couldn't just use a C-clamp to push them back in because these pistons rotated. It's a little weird because it just doesn't push. It actually has to be rotated to put back in. Now, I'm going to show you two tools that you can use to do the rotations. Now, some of us don't have a lot of money and we're trying to save every penny by doing the brakes ourselves. So, I'm going to show you the square. The square won't do all of them, but it will help you do most. Now, I found that it works in a lot of American-made cars, but I haven't really used it on foreign cars. So, Make sure that when you look at the piston, you're going to see the dots. Take a picture of that first before you go out to buy the square. Match the square up to your phone to see if that's good for you. If not, you're going to go ahead and have to buy that kit. Now, the kit that I'm going to show is for Harbor Freight. I don't get sponsored by them. I'm going to go through the kit and just show you how it works real quick. It's almost like working the C-clamp except it has its own little piece for the C-clamp, and it has all the different module, um, circle modules that lock into the piston. Now, I know you're tired of me talking, so let's get right out there to the car and get some work done and show you how to use these tools. So in doing the Cadillac brakes, most calipers here um, have a cylinder here that pushes the pad when you push on the brake. The fluid comes through this onto the, onto the caliper and pushes it. Now see this hose here? Goes to the car, to the master cylinder. When you push on the brake, you push pressure through this line, through this, into the caliper. Then these brakes are gonna squeeze together through this cylinder, this is a piston. So you push this, the piston pushes out. The piston pushes out, the brake pads squeeze here. So this brake pad will squeeze against the rotor to slow you down. Now, once your brakes start to wear down and get a little thinner, this piston will be stuck here. How are you gonna get the piston back? You have to push the piston back to get the new brake pads to fit in. These pad, this pad is not look like this pad. You see the difference in the pads? See how thick this pad is and how worn out that one is? You are not gonna get this thickness into this gap until you push the piston back. I'm gonna show you a couple techniques. So I use the old brake pad when I put it in there. I leave it in because they have a clip that holds it in this hole to retain it. So it's in there perfectly symmetrical. I take the C-clamp and I twist it in. You know, clockwise, twist it in. Push it all the way back and then there you go. Now you can put the, clamp, now you can put the brake pads in. Now, I'm kind of doing this the old school way. This is an old car. I kind of like this way, but on a lot of new cars, you have to buy this kit. Now this kit will do the same thing. This takes the place of the brake pad, but I use the old one, see? This will be the squeeze tool, but I use the C-clamp. 
And all of these, with all these special little bumps on them, right here, these are all going to fit in your car differently for each different brake set. So this one is pretty complete. Now, if you can't afford this big brake set, we have this other small tool called the brake cube. This brake cube, if you turn it on each side, has different patterns on it so that you can get the brakes. Now this isn't the best tool in the world, but it's a lot cheaper than a full set. If you can get away with this, instead of using this, hey, go for it. This also has 3 8 socket connector. You can take your ratchet and you can put it inside this and put it up here and twist, 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 twist and get the piston to go back. Now there is different kind of pistons. Some use these kits and some are just flat. I got lucky with this because it's just flat. So let's put the brakes on, see what happens, get everything done, and then we'll come back and show you what they look like brand new. I also have another tip. When you are doing this and pushing the piston in, guess what happens? The fluid goes backwards. I know it's amazing, but it actually works. Now let's say your brakes are normally here. But they've worn out, so now they're closer. The piston's out farther. Guess what? You're, you, you have more fluid in the caliper. So what's going to happen? You're going to come up here. <clears throat> you're going to look at your master cylinder. And you're going to say, oh my god, my fluid's so low. What happened? And people are going to be like, Ah, your brakes are a little worn okay so we'll just fill some up but this time when you push the brake fluid back in guess what happens the level rises so I sucked out all the black nasty uh, fluid in this and I put clean fluid in and then I pushed the piston back what I should have did was I should have sucked all the fluid out of this pushed the two pistons back got the rest of the junk fluid out and then reflushed it but I'm gonna do it anyway I like this customer he's very nice to me the car is beautiful he really cares about this car a lot so that means I care about this car a lot so once you do this you're gonna have to check the levels see over here the level minimum minimum Usually they have a minimum and a maximum, but this one's kind of old, so we're going to put it about in the middle. So let's get these brakes back together on this 81 Cadillac DeVille. And let's get this thing going down the road. I know this guy wants it back so much, he's like salivating over this thing. Alright, we'll be back.